Martin White. Hi, Mary. Do you know this is our fourth season of doing the show, and even though we are called Sankosh, the show is called Sankosh, we have mm -hmm. never made a Sankosh. Mm -hmm. So I'm delighted that you're going to be cooking with us today. And thank you for inviting me. <laughs> <laughs> so tell, what is a Sankosh exactly, for people who don't know? Okay, a Sankosh is made up of leftovers. It could be basically with peas, any kind. It could have it could be lentil, it could be split peas, right. it could be red beans, right. and you just have leftovers of meat during the week, and uh, you have added provisions, ground provisions, and you just boil. <laughs> and so you have what? Your soup. So what? The, the 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 reason I ask is because the reason we decided to name the show Sankosh was because for the same reason. It's like all these different ingredients coming together to make a show. And yes. So I really like the idea of that. All right, so shall we get started? Sure. I noticed you have 62 million ingredients here. <laughs> As we walk with the ingredients today, and you were like, oh my gosh, you're seeing food, 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 food. <laughs> so you have some scythe and I have some celery. Shall we just get that okay. get going on the chopping? So now don't put me to shame, okay? Not at I'm all. a very slow chopper. <laughs> <laughs> so you have like two stems of scythe and I yes. have like three stems of celery. Yes. And I just sort of, does it matter? Do you have to chop it perfectly? Because you know. No, not at all. <laughs> we don't believe in perfect chopping on the show. <laughs> <laughs> if it's quick, quick is excellent. Oh, it smells really nice. And I've got some tomatoes. How many tomatoes do we need? Three. Three. Whoops. All right, and am I, what do you want me to do, chunks or slices? Chunks. Or, okay, so I'll just cut off a bit and cut it so. All right, what else are you going to put in there? Onions. Right, so like two onions? Yes. Okay. Okay, so can I get the pot going? Or? Yes, you can. All right, so I am going to... I am going to peel some garlic in the meantime. And we're just using some regular cooking oil or you want some olive oil? Uh, could you put some cooking oil? Yeah, sure. I've got some, just some regular cooking oil here. And just two tablespoons, one tablespoon, something like that. Yeah. And what are and we doing bit first? Of Do you put margarine? Pepper? Oh, margarine. Is that margarine there? Yes. Is this cooking margarine? Yes, it is. And what? A whole? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, like so. Yeah. Okay. Are we onions first or? Garlic first. I'll garlic just put a little first. bit of garlic. garlic. No, I have it here. Do you, um, do you think if I stir too, we'll spoil the broth? <laughs> no. <Okay. laughs> too many cooks spoiling the broth. <laughs> so we got onions, garlic, tomatoes. tomatoes. And then some split peas. Yes. We've just had these cooked or we soaked yes. them? Or? No, we boil them without salt. Right. No seasoning. We just right. boiled it. Okay. And okay. about how many, what do you think, like two cups of split peas or? Uh, one pound, yes, about two cups of split peas. All right, okay. All right. Now, what happens if you haven't soaked your split peas in advance? What, what, what do you do? What I do is put the raw split peas in this, in the stew here. Right. And I stew the, the, the split peas in the... In the tomato in and the onion tomato mixture. In the tomato and onion mix. Right. And... Uh, the, I, I stew the tomatoes in it. All right. And then I add chicken stock. Now what do we want to do? Just you let that simmer. Right. Yes, you put some chicken stock okay. or vegetable stock. All right. Um, and uh, let it simmer. Okay, so Asamoy has made her own chicken stock from scratch and we actually have a sort of pot on the stove. So tell me what you put into your chicken stock. We put... Uh, um, vegetables like onions, celery, right. you put garlic, or anything like that. Right. and we leave them whole. We bring the the mixture to 
a boil right. and then we simmer. So as a boy, our soup is smelling fantastic. What we've got going so far? We have the peas boiling and we have the provision already prepared, mm -hmm. just cut. Right. And, and tell me what provisions water. we've got in our bowl. We have some dashin, edos, we have sweet potatoes Potato, right. and green fig. Okay. And what are you going to do? I'm going to make some dumplings. All right. So I'm going to leave Asamoy here and I'm going to go over to the pot. So you go okay. ahead. So here we have some green fig. We have Edo's, what did you say? Dashin. Dashin. And sweet potato. And sweet potatoes. So tell me what you're doing there. How much flour do you think I, you put in there? Uh, eight ounces. About eight ounces of flour, right. Uh, well, a tea sugar, sugar mm -hmm. and a, tea, a little bit of salt. Okay. Okay. Okay, we also have lots of different meats. Tell me what you've done, Asamoy, with the meat. We have a uh, pigtail. Right, we have oxtail. Pigtail, oxtail. And uh, cow heel? No. Trotter? Yeah, um, pigfoot. Pigfoot, pigfoot, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you basically just boiled everything? Boiled everything together. Right, together in the same pot? Yes. Okay. Why did you cook everything in advance of us putting it in the pot? Well, because Sandcoach is. Uh, all leftovers right. <laughs> and what I wanted to do is to make it as close as possible you know so for leftovers so right. I just boil okay. everything I use uh, pig tail uh, added no salt uh, so that I could get the salt from the pig tail right into the ox tail and the pig foot. Let me get this out of the way here. So do you make spinners or do you make bigger dumplings? Bigger dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my dad loves spinners. He said, does that stew ha in Jamaica, they make, um, like they call it stew peas, where they put like salt, beef and peas and spinners. Um, they like spinners a lot more. We'll, I like my big, big... Go <laughs> dong. <laughs> Is that what you call it? <laughs> I know, my, I know my parents used to say cow down. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a day. Great day after day. All right, this is looking excellent. This is looking excellent. You want me to help you with those? Yes. So what, we're just going to drop in just the dumplings? Just drop the dumplings in. Okay, all right. Let me grab some up. What have you got there? Come on. Yeah. And then we have this celery. That's okay, so we've celery. got um, a little celery chopped up, a some onions. onions, some save, okay, thyme, seasoned peppers, some pimento. Pimento. Look, but what about our pumpkin? We totally forgot the pumpkin. <laughs> we That's have because to I pumpkin. do not eat pumpkin. <laughs> you, you don't eat pumpkin. I don't eat pumpkin. Really? So oh, I always tend to forget it. And yeah. Okay, go ahead. So we're just putting hot some pepper. small leaf thyme and the hot pepper. And let it simmer. On. And let it simmer. Okay, so we're putting the cover on. Yes, and let it simmer. And we're going to let it simmer for, this is going to take about 25 minutes to cook the provisions, you yes. think? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to let it simmer for about 25 minutes. Asamoy, our soup has been cooking for about what do you say, 25, 30 minutes? So let's, uh, sh shall we have a taste? Sure. <laughs> Let me get a little uh, bit of soup into here. Um, just a little. This is fantastic. It's a really nice texture, actually. It's got um, body. <laughs> Would you like to have a taste? Well, let me have a little bit too. so much. Hot, 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 hot. Mm. Excellent. <laughs> thank you so much, Asamoy. Oh, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> and uh, we'll you? see you on the next episode of Sankush.